keep you up and running. Want to rock and roll all night or at least until bedtime? The Bowling Green Rock Band Academy held their 2024 end of semester showcase at the White Squirrel Brewery this afternoon, allowing young rock stars a chance to show off everything they've learned with the Academy this semester. WBKO Sarah Phipps was able to talk with the co-founder of the Academy to find out just what it means to make a rock and roller. After weeks of rehearsing, rocking, and rolling, students of the Bowling Green Rock Band Academy were ready to make some noise. We have a whole lot of groups that we're able to form together from the levels of beginner to intermediate to advanced. And today, uh, after their nine weeks of rehearsing together, they're all going to showcase all of the great songs that they learned together as a team. And uh, it's been a really lot of, a lot of fun. Bands were able to choose their own songs and genres, meant to highlight what each member can offer and give everyone a chance in the spotlight. It's really good socially, like to, you can gain a lot of friends and you can make cool friendships and you can go on and make your own music even after you continue. Along with friendships, Academy co-founder Matthew DeVore said he hopes students take away a newfound sense of confidence. But as soon as they get done with that set and they finish playing those songs together, they always walk off just like really proud, a little stronger, walking a little taller because they know that they just did something amazing. So it's been great to see. Just getting to like play music for people and like kind of just like I said, like gaining friendships and like making art. Though DeVore said the greatest takeaway he hopes for students is an understanding of the power of music. Music is the great unifier. Music is something that enriches your life. It's something that can basically give us friendships that will last a lifetime. We'll have links for those looking to sign up for the Academy's next semester on our website, WBKO.com. Reporting in Bowling Green, Sarah Phipps, WBKO News. DeVore also thanked the Bowling Green Amplify Foundation, an area nonprofit that works to keep access to the creative arts open. We'll have more information on them as our, on our website as well.